Unit vectors. Well, as you know from your math class already, that a unit vector has a magnitude of 1. And a unit vector along the x-axis is referred to as an i-vector. And a unit vector along the y-axis is a j-vector. Okay, so we have magnitude is 1 and its direction is either x or y for a two-dimensional problem. Of course, if it's x, it's i, and if it's a j, it's the uh, y direction. Well, why do we need to know about unit vectors? Well, we're going to start writing our forces in a vector notation. So let's take this same problem that we've been working with and we're going to use the same old techniques that we've always used. We're going to break this up into components. Parallelogram. So here would be our force in the x and here in the y. Now, what I've drawn right now are the scalar values of f. I could have also have done this here. I could have said fx times i, because this now makes this a vector, right? This is a scalar quantity. Maybe this is 100 pounds in the i direction or x direction. And so here I could say we have fy magnitude. and the j direction. So our notation here for f can look like this here. So vector f has two parts, fx in the i and fy in the j. And we learned on the other page that in this particular case fx can be written as f cosine of the angle and fy could be the sine. Now if you're wondering, well why do we even have to write the i's and the j's. I mean, if we already know that it's fx and fy, well, the reason why we write the i's and the j's when we write this out is these are reminders to us that you can't add this number plus this number directly. We have to use some sort of vector notation, parallelogram, in order to combine these. These are the apples and these are oranges. Because remember, normally when you write out a vector, it's going to ultimately, you know, look something like this. It might say, you know, f is equal to 100i plus 200j. So again, these are just reminders. You know, if I were to just write 100 plus 200, we're naturally going to convert that into 300. But now we know, oh, this is the i direction, that's the j direction. You can't combine those. Okay?